黄雅玲，欢迎收看今天的英语会话 English Conversation 第十八讲工作篇三的转播。今天呢，我们所要讲授的对话为面试相关内容。对话呢，我们会以短句的方式先秀给各位同学看。但是呢，在每则短句开始之前，我们还是会先进行一小段该篇短句中我们所谓使用到的这些单字的解释。在知道了单字的意思之后呢，当你在看对话的时候，就可以比较快的清楚知道内容了。好，那我们先来看看我们对话中所谓使用到的单字。第一个 ，all，all， all, 动词，欠、欠债等等。来看一下我们的例句 ：I owe the landlord one hundred dollars。我欠房东一百块钱。Number two，look after，look after。照料，来看一下我们的例句。His elder sister looks after him for all these years. 他的姐姐呢，这么多年来都一直在照顾他。OK, next, even, even 形容词，同样的，一致的。来看一下我们的例句。Her teeth were white and even. 他的牙齿洁白而整齐。Okay, next, kind, kind， 形容词，亲切的，和蔼的。来看一下我们的例句。They are very kind to me. 他们对我很好。Okay, irony, irony， 名词，讽刺。来看一下我们的例句。In her voice, we could sense a certain tinge of irony. 从她的声音里，我们可以感觉到某种讥讽的意味。In charge, in charge, 负责。来看一下例句。I will be in charge when my supervisor goes on a business trip. 我主管出差的时候将由我负责一切事物。Rough. Rough， 形容词，粗略的。来看一下我们的例句。I have a rough idea about the project。关于那项计划，我已经有一点想法了。In advance，in advance， 事先。来看一下我们的例句。Before we take a trip, we should make a hotel reservation in advance. 我们在旅游前应该要事先预订好饭店。Itinerary, itinerary, 名词，路线，旅行计划。来看一下我们的例句。He has some more places to visit on his itinerary. 他在旅途中还有几个地方要游览。determine， determine， 动词，决定。来看一下我们的例句。I determined to leave that very afternoon. 我决定那天下午就离开。participate， participate， 动词，参加。来看一下我们的例句。Everyone can participate in this fair. 每个人都可以参加这个展览会。Toiletries, toiletries， 卫生清洁用品。来看一下我们的例句。It is better to have your own toiletries while traveling. 旅行中能携带自己的卫生清洁用品比较好。Correspondence, correspondence， 名词，信件的总称。来看一下我们的例句。The letter had been among his correspondence that morning. 这封信就在他那天早上收到的信件之中。In case, in case, 假使免得
。来看一下我们的例句 ：Take the raincoat in case it rains。带着雨衣以防下雨。Tired out。Tired out。累垮了。来看一下我们的例句 ：The sport tired me out。这运动使我精疲力竭。好，单色部分呢，我们就先介绍到这个地方。接下来，请各位跟我一起来观赏一下这则简短的话剧。For your cat's sake, Samantha, please tell me, your roommate, how long your business trip will be. Otherwise, it's not my business. Come on, you owe me once. Last time when you went to visit your parent, I also looked after your dog. All right, so now we are even. Yep, it's very kind of you. And for your information, I will be away for two weeks. Two weeks? So long? Hey, I think it's not necessary to change the person in charge if you still have three weeks to prepare the trip. Could be, but usually we need to prepare many things before moving on the trip. Is that so? I'm in the dark about the preparation of a business trip. Could you kindly clue me in on what we should prepare before a business trip? No problem. I'm always kind, unlike you. I beg your pardon. Nothing. Anyway, let me show you my plan and give you a rough idea about what we usually do for preparation. Great. Thanks a lot. First of all, we should plan ahead. Because bigger exhibition, more visitors. Making the reservations for my travel accommodations in advance is necessary. Travel accommodations can include air travel, hotel, and local transportation. So, what's your itinerary this time? Will you only stay in Berlin? Because we're still waiting for some potential clients' replies and meeting confirmation, my itinerary is not determined yet. But most of our clients will be participate in the fair, so I guess I might be stay in Berlin during show days. Afterwards, I will go to Frankfurt and London for visiting other partners. Wow, your schedule is really tight. How can you manage all the bookings for your long journey? Fortunately, one of my clients has helped me to deal with the hotel reservations. He is so familiar with Berlin, and he is willing to recommend some nice hotels for me. Wow, you're so lucky! Things don't always work out so smoothly. I still remember the first time I went abroad. I forgot to make the reservations ahead, and I couldn't get my visa on time, because for some countries, such as the UK and the States. The turnaround time for a visa application always longer than two or three weeks, and the process is quite complicated. Anyway, it's a lesson taught by experience. That's why you are such a pro. After everything is settled, the following steps are more about business: setting goals, making the appointments, and setting up tasks and deliverables, and most important parts of your trip before you leave. For making sure that things go off smoothly, you could always ask yourself five W one H questions: what, why, when, where, who, and how.、Mm. Do you follow me? If you have a chance to run what I taught Peach in practice, you may be able to easily get the point. Certainly. All right. Last but not least, packing your luggage with essential items and bringing tools. But please note, I said essential. So for girls, please note your luggage is not only your dressing table or wardrobe. Other than your toiletries and outfits, you should spare the space for your laptop, PDA, address books, journals, cell phones, chargers, USB drives, spare business cards, or anything that you anticipate needing for you to be able to work. Back up the files, electronic documents, correspondence you may need, just in case. Keep hard copies of all your confirmation numbers and bring along with you. <sighs> Too many little things need to be concerned and prepared, and all I have said is the tip of the iceberg. That's very true. 
Now I fully understand why you have been always tired out, even before you leave. Good, welcome back. Watched the short video after, I don't know if you all remember what the short video said. If you don't remember, it's okay. We will look at it piece by piece. Let's look at the short video again. 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 Please tell me your roommate. How long your business trip will be? 他说为了你的猫号啊 ，Samantha， 请你告诉我，你这次出差需要多久的时间呢 ？Otherwise, it's not my business. 否则我可不管它哦。好，来，我们来做个补充。For one sec. For one sec 呢，表示是某人做某件事，只为了帮忙或是让某人高兴。美国的语中，我们常讲 for Pete's sake， 意思呢是指说为了表示恼怒、烦恼和不耐烦，或是增加一个问题或要求的说服力或压迫。这个字呢与 for God's sake 或者是 for heaven's sake 都有相同的意思存在。好，我们再回到课文的部分。Samantha says, "Come on, you owed me once." 我拜托你欠我一次哦。这个 o 呢，我们来做个补充。Owe it to oneself 表示是说呢，认为自己有责任，不得不怎么样的意思。还有 owe something to 表示的呢是指把什么东西归功于什么这样子。好，我们再回到我们课文的部分。Last time when you went to visit your parents, I also looked after your dog. 上次你回父母家，我不是也帮你照顾你家的狗两个礼拜了吗 ？So Lilian says. All right, so now we are even. 那好吧，看来我们打平了。Then Samantha says, "Yup, it's very kind of you." 他说，哦，你真是太善良了。他是 being ironic， 用语带讽刺的说法说着的。And for your information, I will be away for two weeks. 哦，对了，跟你说一声，我会去两个礼拜。Lillian says, "Two weeks." So long. He said, "How long are you going to be gone? Two weeks." Hey, I think it's not necessary to change the person in charge if you still have three weeks to prepare the trip. He said, "Hey, I think you still have three weeks to prepare the trip if you still have three weeks to prepare the trip." He said, "Hey, I think you still have three weeks to prepare the trip if you still have three weeks to prepare the trip." He said, "Hey, I think you still have three weeks to prepare the trip if you still have three weeks to prepare the trip." He said, "Hey, I think you still have three weeks to prepare the trip." 来看一下例句。The first mate will be in charge when the captain is away. 大副呢会负责所有事情。如果我们的舰长、我们的船长不在的时候，接下来是 in charge of。In charge of 的意思呢有 having the care or supervision of。来看一下例句。She is in charge of two libraries. 她呢负责这两个图书馆。我看一下第二种解释方法。Under the care or supervision of, 来看一下例句。The books are in the charge of the accounting office. 这书呢是由这个 accounting office 所管理的。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。Then Samantha says, "Could be, but usually we need to prepare many things before moving on the trip." 他说是没错啊，可是呢，通常我在出差前都有很多的事情需要做准备。So Lily says, "Is that so? I'm in the dark about the preparation of a business trip." 他说我对于出差前的准备一点头绪都没有呢。So could you kindly clue me in on what we should prepare before a business trip? 他说：“那你可不可以善良的告诉我说，到底出差前我们要做些什么准备呢 ？”Samantha says, "No problem. I'm always kind, unlike you." 他说：“没问题，我一直都很善良，跟你是不一样的。” She's murmuring. 她是小小声的在抱怨着。So Lillian heard and says, "I beg your pardon." 他说：“我，你在说什么呢 ？”Samantha says, "Nothing. Anyway." Let me show you my plan and give you a rough idea about. What we usually do for preparation. 好，没事啊。总之呢，我先帮你建立一个基本的概念吧。关于说我们到底出差前是怎么样做准备的呢 
Lily was happy. Great, thanks a lot. 说太好了，谢谢。Samantha says, first of all, we should plan ahead because bigger exhibition, more visitors. 首先呢，我们应该先做一个计划，因为越大的展览会就会有越多的人来参观。Making the reservations for my travel accommodations in advance is necessary. 事先做好旅行计划呢是非常非常重要的。来，我们来对 in advance 做个补充。Advance 呢是指说提前或者是预先的意思。而 in advance of 或者是 in advance 这两个片语呢，我们皆是用在时间上一个提前的意思。来看看他们的其他用法。Pay in advance 预先付款。Advance man 前卫。Advance booking 预订机票、电影票、饭店、旅馆等等。Advance warning 事先警告。Advanced level, 进阶版。除此之外呢 ，in advance 还有一种常用的用法，叫做是 thanks in advance。这个东西我们在商业书信上我们常常会用到。可是事实上要特别注意到的一点是，其实这种用法呢略显不礼貌，似乎是我已经先谢过你了，所以你非帮忙不可的意思。好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。Travel accommodations can include air travel, hotel, and local transportation. 他说，所谓的这个旅行计划呢，包括了我们的飞机票、我们的饭店，还有我们当地的一个交通运输。Then Lillian says, "So what's your itinerary this time? Will you only stay in Berlin?" 他说，那你这次路线为何呢？你会一直待在柏林吗 ？Samantha says. Because we are still waiting for some potential clients to reply the meeting information, my itinerary is not determined yet. 他说，因为呢，我们还要跟某些潜在的客户再见面深谈，所以我这次路线还没有全部的确定。But most of our clients will participate in the fair, so I guess I might be stayed in Berlin during show days. 但是呢，我们大部分的客户都会参加这次的展览会，所以我想，我在展览期间都会待在柏林。Afterwards, I'll go to Frankfurt and London for visiting other partners. 之后呢，应该会去法兰克福和伦敦去拜访其他的合伙人。And then Lillian says, "Wow, your schedule is really tight." 她说，哇，你的行程相当满呢。How can you manage all the bookings for your long journey? 啊，那你是如何预定好自己这么多天行程的住宿呢 ？Samantha says, "Fortunately, one of my clients has deal with has helped me to deal with the hotel reservations." 幸运的是，我有一个客户帮我处理了所有饭店预订的事情。He is so familiar with Berlin that he's willing to recommend some nice hotels for me. 他对于柏林呢相当的了解，还愿意为我介绍许多很棆的饭店。So Lillian says, "Wow,、well, you're so lucky." 他说你真的很幸运耶。Samantha says, "Things don't always work out so smoothly." 但不是每次都可以这么顺利的哦。I still remember the first time I went abroad. I forgot to make the reservations ahead. Then I couldn't get my visa on time. 他说：“我还记得我第一次出国的时候呢，我忘记事先做好的计划，结果我没办法准时拿到我的签证。Because for some countries such as the UK and the States, the turnaround time for a visa application always longer than two to three weeks. 那因为像是英国及美国这种国家，他们核发签证的时间呢，约需要二到三个礼拜。来，我们来做个比较级的补充。”形容词比较级呢，在形容词的后面我们会直接加上一个 er。来看一下我们的例句。例句说 ：clean, cleaner, tall, taller。第二种呢是说，我们若原形容词字尾已经有一的时候呢，我们则只需要直接加上一个 r。来看一下例句 ：nice, nicer, brave。Braver, 
或者是第三种。原形容词字尾为 r 字音的时候呢，或者加 y 子音加上一个 y 的时候呢，我们需要去掉 y， 再加上一个 i e r。来看一下例句 ：happy happier， friendly friendlier。或者是第四种，当形容词字尾是子音母音子音这个现象的时候呢，我们需要重复字尾，再加上一个 e r。来看一下例子。Big, bigger. Sad, sadder. 接下来是第五种，三个音节以上的形容词呢，我们会在这个形容词的前面加上一个 more, m o r e， 来形成一个比较级的部分。来看一下例子 ，beautiful, more beautiful. Comfortable, more comfortable. 好，我们再回到我们对话的部分。And the process is quite complicated. 而且那个过程呢，相当的复杂。Anyway, it's a lesson taught by experience. 总之呢，我们可以从经验中学到很多东西。Then Lillian says, "That's why you're such a pearl." 所以你才这么的内行。So Samantha says. After everything is settled, the following steps are more about business. 等到这些事情都处理好了之后，下一步就跟公事比较相关了。Setting goals, making the appointments, and setting up tasks and deliverables are all the most important parts for your trip before you leave. 在出发前，最重要的事情就是要设定目标，预约会面的时间。准备好相关的资料等等。For making sure the things go off smoothly, you could always ask yourself five W one H questions: What, Why, When, Where, Whom, and How. 为了确保一切顺利，你也可以询问自己五个 W 一个 H 的问题 ：What 什么 ？Why 为什么 ？When 什么时候 ？Where 在哪里？ Whom, 谁以及 how 如何 ？So Lian says, "Hmm, hmm, hmm." She understands, and then Samantha still talking. She says, "Do you follow me? If you have a chance to run what I taught or what I pitch in practice, you may be able to easily get the point." 她说：“你有知道我在说什么吗？如果你有机会可以实地演练的话，也许你可以早一点抓到一个重点。” Then Lillian says, "Certainly, 一定的 Samantha says, "All right, last but not the least, packing your luggage with essential items and bringing tools." 他说好了，最后但不是最不重要的呢，就是将重要的物品打包到你的行李里面。But please note, I said essential. So for girls, please note your luggage is not only your dressing table or wardrobe. 他注意到我说重要的了吗？对女生而言，行李里面装的可不只是梳妆台或者是衣柜而已。Other than your toiletries and outfits, you should spare the space for your laptop, PDA, address books, journals, cell phones, chargers, USB drives, spare business cards, or anything that you would anticipate needing for you to be able to work. 除了卫生清洁用品跟正式服装之外呢，还有空间可以装笔记型电脑、装 PDA、通讯录、期刊、手机、充电器、随身点、名片，或者是任何工作上有可能会用到的东西。And then Lillian says, "That's very true." 这真的相当正确。Now I fully understand why you have been always tired out even before you leave. 现在我完全可以了解为什么你总是在出差前就非常累了。我们来看一下补充 before， before 呢表示的是现在之前的任何时间，一指过去某个不确定的时间，通常跟现在完成是连用，但也可用于简单过去式。来看一下我们的例句 ：I know that guy. I met him somewhere before. 我知道那个人，我之前有遇过他。或者是看另一个例句 ：Where were you here before? 你之前在这里吗？接下来我们要讲的是，也是之前，但是另外一个单词 ago， 
。ago 呢，指的是现在之前的某个确定的时间，指的是从现在开始往以前推算，多半用于简单过去式中。来看一下我们的例句 ：Your mother phoned five minutes ago. 你的妈妈呢，五分钟前来电了。好，我们先休息一下，等一下回来我们来做一下复习。嗯、欢迎回来。好，我们今天对话呢就上到这个地方结束了。不知道各位还记不记得今天我们上了哪些东西呢？我们今天这一讲的主题是针对出差前的一个准备。有人 A 对有人 B 进行了一个小小的经验分享。s m i t h a 提到了关于出差前需要问自己的。五 W 1 E H 的这个问题，还有所需要携带物品等等这些东西，我们也做了许多的补充，像是提到了 For one's sake， 表示呢某人做某事只为了帮忙，或者呢是让某人高兴，或者像是 Own it to oneself， 等于呢认为自己有责任，不得不去做一些什么事情，还有 Own something to， 把什么东西归功于什么。接下来也讲到了 in charge， 代表着呢是拥有掌控权的意思。它呢跟 in command 或者是 having supervisory power 是一样的意思。至于当它多加一个介系词 of 的时候呢，意思则会有些微的一点改改改变，变成是监督管理或是照料的意味。所以 in charge of 也会等于 having the care or supervision of， 或者呢 under the。Care or supervision of. 接下来呢，我们对 advance 做了一点点的补充。Advance 含有提前或者是预先的意思。而 in advance 或者是 in advance of 这两个片语呢，也都含有同样的意思，都是指呢在时间上一个提前的一个意思。我们也提到了跟 advance 相关的一些其他用法，像是 pay in advance。预先付款，还有 advance man 前卫 ，advance booking 预定一些像是机票、电影片、饭店、旅馆等等的，还有 advance warning 事先警告 ，advance level 进阶版。之后我们也提到了关于比较集中形容词该怎么样的转变，像是在形容词的后面直接加上 er， dear 变成 clean 变成 cleaner。臭变成 toler， 或者是呢，形容词字尾有一、e、的时候，直接加上一个 r， 像是 nice 变成 nicer， brave 变 braver。如果说字尾呢是子音加上一个 y 的时候，我们会把 y 去掉，加上 i e r， 像是 happy 变成 happier， friendly 变成 friendlier。如果字尾呢是子音母音子音的时候，我们会重复字尾，再加上一个 e r， big 变 bigger， sad 变 sadder。而如果呢，它是三个音节以上的形容词呢，我们则会在单字前面加上一个 more 来形成比较级，像是 beautiful 变成 more beautiful， comfortable 变成 more comfortable。最后，我们也对 before 来做了一个小小的补充，这样子。好，那我们今天就先上到这个地方，我们下次要进行的是英文绘画第四讲工作篇四。下周呢，我们会讲到关于出差旅行的时候所会遇到的问题，像是时差、生病等等。我们下次见，拜拜。